All right, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, still not sure what's going on with my camera. It's not giving me a feedback, but shows that it's recording and yesterday the video seemed like it was uploaded, so we're just gonna keep going with it. <laughs> um, yeah, and sorry about any noise in the background. There's a very large dump truck in my neighborhood. Um, and it's picking up a dumpster. So <laughs> if you hear some background noise, we're just gonna roll with it. Tuesday morning, let's get it going, right? Um, quote for today, uh, I'll go ahead and read it and then we'll, we'll chat about it. Um, it says, it isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it, one must work at it. So it isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it, one must work at it. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I come again with a heavy heart. There's a lot going on in our world right now. And I think um, whether we're talking on an individual basis or um, a more global basis, peace is, is hopefully always the goal. And it is something that we have to work at. It doesn't come easily. It um, just doesn't automatically happen overnight. And, um, you know, there's varying levels of things that we can do to work at it, whether it's on an individual basis and doing your daily stretches or your daily mindfulness practice, or if it's getting involved in your community. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we have to physically do. And um, we can't just sit around hoping and wishing. You know, it starts with that. It starts with a dream. It starts with an idea. And we try to visualize and, and see the good that, that we want, um, but then we have to take the necessary steps to get there. So um, I thought this uh, this quote resonated fairly well for, for today and, and for what's going on in our world. So um, Hopefully it resonates with you guys, and um, hopefully you can just speak to it even on an individual level, right? Do you have peace in, in within yourself, within your own heart? Um, do you have peace in, in your world and in your immediate settings? And if you don't, what can be done to change that and, and what work needs to be put in? So um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna invite you guys to do the work um, share the piece and, uh, and, and keep working towards that common goal. So uh, we will do our part here this morning with our stretches and our mindfulness. We'll do another loving kindness meditation. And um, yeah, we'll just, we'll keep moving forward. We'll, we'll do our part today. So let's go ahead, let's get started, you guys. Uh, go ahead, come to your starting position. <clears throat> All right, so let me take a little sip of the coffee. That helps with my own internal peace sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead, get to our starting position. So come with feet flat, knees bent, hips are heavy into the chair. Feel your spine long and lifted. Relax the shoulders down the back and we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close your eyes here as you inhale through the nose, pull the breath in, open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, blink those eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in and we'll get started with the stretches. So as always, we will begin with our legs here, our lower extremities. So try and bring them out in front of you as straight as possible. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing our feet. Good. So drawing the toes away from the body and back towards the body, away and towards. And that's just going to get the blood flowing, get the energy moving, and of course start to get the breath moving at a slow and steady pace. 
And as always, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, that's okay. Um, I invite you to close your eyes and then see if you can visualize as the body moves energetically. <clears throat> nice job, you guys. All right. When you're done with that, keep those legs straight out in front. You can rest your heels on the ground and then draw your toes back in towards your face. So you're going to flex your feet here. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, reach your fingers in the direction of your toes. Maybe you land at your feet. Maybe you're here at the shins or just above the knees. Wherever you're at, start to notice the sensation in the back side of your legs. And then keep the breath moving feel into the calves and the hamstrings, just slowly starting to soften the muscles, easing into the posture. Mm. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath flowing. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, come on back up to seated. Bend the knees again, bring your feet flat to the floor, and let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the inside of our thighs here. So that's our hip adductor muscles. Draw the knees in opposite directions here. Now you can use your hands or your forearms to add a little extra pressure or just continue to use the muscles of the legs to pull the knees away from one another. Good, and then as always, come back to the breath. Relax the shoulders, maybe let go of any tension in the jaw. Just notice how you're feeling. Make the effort here to ease into the Nice job, you guys. Keep moving the breath, smooth and steady. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, draw those legs back together. Come on back to that starting position. We'll take another breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, you guys. Starting position, feet are flat, hips are heavy, spine is long and lifted, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and we'll start with the right leg, draw that knee up into your chest, into your torso. Good, relax the shoulders down, and then begin to breathe and feel into the back side of this right hip here, noticing any sensations. Feels okay, cross the leg over the other leg and just pay attention. See what that did maybe to the back side of the hip. See if it changed the stretch. And then just keep breathing. Smooth and steady. Listening to your body. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, release that leg down, let it go. Nice job, you guys. We'll switch sides. So once again, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. And then we'll draw the left knee up into our chest, into our torso. Good. Relaxing the shoulders as the spine stays long. And then breathe once again. Breathe into the left side of the hip here. If it feels good, maybe cross the leg over the opposite, noticing what stretch you feel, noticing if there's a change in sensation. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. Continue breathing as you listen to your body, feeling into sensation. Hmm. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release, let it go. Awesome job. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nicely done, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and move into our spinal stretches. So coming from our starting position, 
Once again, feet are flat, lower half of the body is heavy and rooted into the floor. Take a breath in as you sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, twist over. Right. Maybe taking hand grips of your choice, whether it's on your leg or the chair. Perhaps the gaze comes over the right shoulder. And then just ease into the posture. Creating length and space with the breath in. And then maybe moving into that space, twisting a little deeper with the breath out. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here. And exhale, slowly come back to the center. Awesome job, we'll switch sides. So inhale, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist over to the left. Once again, hand grip of your choice here. Lengthening through the spine, creating space with the breath in. And maybe twisting a little deeper, moving into that space on the breath out. Perhaps the gaze is over the left shoulder. Allowing yourself to ease into this posture, feel into the stretch. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release. Come on back to your center. Let it go. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let it go. Awesome job, you guys. Keeping your legs and feet exactly where they're at. We're just going to round forward now, bringing your hands down towards your feet. And just starting to feel into the low back here, your lumbar spine area. Just allowing the muscles and the tissues to soften around the bones. Hmm. Feels okay, continue to round the spine forward, releasing the head towards the floor. But only if that feels good. If any compression or restriction, just back off a little bit. And continue to breathe into the low back. Feeling as the spinal muscles soften and stretch away from one another. <clears throat> Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up towards seated. Nice job, you guys. Give yourself a minute here. Bring the spine back in line. Allow the blood pressure to resettle and restabilize. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the front of the body now. So we can start by just squeezing your shoulder blades together, maybe drawing your elbow points towards one another on the back body. And just notice what that does to the front of the chest and the collarbone, kind of opening it up here. Now, depending on the height of your chair, you can either take your spine up and over it, or my chair's a little higher, so I'm just gonna push my shoulders into it and then arch through the rest of my back here. So I'm pulling my front body forward, allowing the abdominal muscles and the pec muscles, even the throat muscles here just to open up, expanding with every inhale. Maybe arms come to either side of the chair, further continuing the expansion. <clears throat> and then just keep breathing opening up and softening the muscles with the breath in and then relaxing and releasing with the breath out nice job you guys continuing the breath smooth and steady take another deep inhale here and as you exhale slowly slowly come on back up towards seated awesome job you guys let's take a breath to reset inhale through the nose open mouth exhale let it go nicely done 
All right, let's go ahead and move into our arm, um, our arm stretches, our upper extremities. So we'll be taking um, basically this arm bone and just lifting it up and away from the body. So we'll be starting with shoulder flexion here. I'm going to guide with fingers in between one another. So if you're able to do that, I highly recommend it. Um, that's just going to allow a little bit more range and mobility all through the fingers, the palm, really the entire finger here. You, of course, have, have a couple other options. You can always take a cupped grip here. So just clasping the hands like that. <clears throat> and then, of course, you can utilize the strength of one hand to assist the other. And then you always have the option of just raising one arm as well. So wherever you're at is perfect. Continue to be there. Do the work and feel into the sensations within your own body. So again, I'll guide with fingers in between one another. Come back to the starting position, feet flat, hips heavy, spine is long. Take a deep breath in and lift those fingertips up over, maybe in the direction of the ceiling. Good. If your hands are up over your head, feel into the armpits, feel into your side bodies. Also make sure to soften at the shoulders. If there's any pain or any discomfort, just back off a little bit, right? Knowing where the stretch feels best in your body in this moment. And continuing the breath, smooth and steady. <sighs> nice job, you guys. If it feels good in your body. Go ahead, take another deep breath in, and then maybe lift those hands a little higher, maybe reach them a little higher, deep lift in, only if it feels good. Take a breath in, and then slowly, slowly, slowly release those arms down. Ah, nice job. Good work, everyone. Take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome. All right, I'm going to turn to the side here and we'll get into our scapular glides. So that is our shoulder blades. Now, if you have a table or a flat surface, I recommend placing your hands on top of it. It's going to help guide the fingers and give you a little bit of support as you reach away from the body. If you don't have a table, like myself, we can pretend, right? So. Our hands go on the imaginary table and same thing. We're reaching our fingers up and away from the body. And what this is doing is allowing a little motion here in the shoulder blades. So if you need to feel the difference, squeeze your shoulder blades together so they come towards one another on um, the middle of your back and then draw them away from each other, pulling them to opposite sides of the rib cage. And then as you continue to breathe, move those fingers a little further away from you, pulling those shoulder blades up and around the rib cage. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Deep breathing here, softening at the neck and the shoulders. Good, take another deep breath in. And exhale, come on back up to center. <sighs> nice job, you guys. All right, I'll turn around and face you once more. And then we'll go ahead and get into the back side of our arms as we stretch here. So once more, starting position, sit up nice and tall. Feel the lower half of your body rooted and grounding towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. And we'll start with the right arm, reaching it up and across the body here. Just reaching those fingers away from you. That's option number one. Option number two, you can grab a hold of this shoulder and maybe give it a gentle tug. Just notice what you feel on the back side of the right arm. And then option number three, you can always utilize your free hand here to gently pull that arm in towards the body. Good, you guys. Keep the breath moving. Again, no forcing, no pain. This should feel nice and easy. Breathing into sensation. Good. Take another deep breath in here. 
And as you exhale, slowly release, let that arm go. Awesome job. We'll go ahead and switch sides. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then we'll bring the left arm up and across the body. Fingers reaching in the opposite direction here. That's option number one. Option number two, you can grab a hold of your other shoulder and just give it a gentle tug, mostly noticing what you feel over here on the back side of the left arm. And then option number three, of course, you can utilize your uh, free hand and give that arm a little squeeze. So just gently hugging it in towards the body, breathing into sensation, feeling into the stretch. Mm. Good. If there's any pain or any discomfort, just back off a little. Find that sweet spot right in your body. Nice job, you guys. Take another soft breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let the arm go. Nice job, you guys. Okay, my favorite part, shoulder rolls. So let's go ahead and bring those shoulders up to the ears. And then back down again. Up to the ears and back down. Just continuing. Feel into the body. Releasing any tension or any holding. Maybe you go forward and backwards. You can always go side to side. Whatever feels best here in your body. Mm. Nice job, you guys. All right, when you're done with that, come on back to your starting position. Feet are flat, knees bent, hips heavy, spine is long. Sit up a little taller as you relax shoulders. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale gently drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Good and then just begin to soften. If it feels okay close your eyes and just begin to let go. Allowing gravity to gently draw the weight of the head over towards the floor. Breathe into the left side of your neck. Watching and feeling as the muscles slowly begin to soften and stretch away from one another. Keep the breath moving slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, come on back through center. <sighs> nice work. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So take a breath in as you sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, gently drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Good. Once again, allowing yourself softly release and let go. Closing the eyes if that feels good. And just allowing the weight of the head to pour over towards the floor, gently being drawn down by gravity. Breathing into the right side of the neck this time. Watching and feeling as the muscles begin to melt and gently draw away from Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly drop the chin down towards the chest. And just begin to make small circles here with the head and the neck. Feeling as the stretch moves through all corners of the cervical spine. Continuing to breathe slowly, breathe steadily. Make sure to switch directions. Evening out the rotation, evening out the stretch. And just continuing to breathe and feel into sensation. <sighs> As 
as you're ready, come on back through center. Go ahead, bring the head back in line with the spine. Once more, return to that starting position. Lower half of the body is heavy and grounding towards the floor. Spine is long and lifting towards the ceiling. Allow your low belly gently pull in to support the core here. Relax the shoulders. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here. As we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, softly blink the eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that ends our stretches for today. So thank you guys so much for joining for that portion. Um, I'm going to get us set up for mindfulness. So hold tight and I'll be with you in a sec. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Let's get set up here. All right, and if anyone is out there watching, feel free to let me know that you can see the video because, again, the video for me is not giving me a playback. So I could just be sitting here talking to myself once again, but if you're out there, shoot me a note. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get the timer set up. Um, we will continue with the loving kindness meditation. Um, and I think that's, I think that's part of the work that we all have to do right now, right? Um, and for those of you that missed the beginning of the video, I'll go ahead and reread the quote for today. Um, it says, it isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it, right? And that work is always going to look a little bit different depending on, who you are, what your circumstances are, um, but we can't just wish for peace. We can't just hope that it magically appears, right? We do need to put in the work just like with anything else, right? If you're trying to eat healthier or be more physically active, it's no different than putting in that kind of work. So um, to start with ourselves is, in my opinion, the first step. Right? So if we can try to find peace within ourselves, and maybe we do that through our daily practice of meditation or mindfulness, even five or ten minutes of slowing down to stretch and breathe, right? Um, joining in for these daily videos. Maybe that's the work that you're doing, and, and that's perfect. That's, um, that's where you need to be. If you're able to reach out and do more work, um, expand from yourself and reach into your community or into your cities, your states, um, the nation as a whole, right? If we, if we want the peace, we have to be willing to put in the work. So um, yeah, let's, let's keep doing our parts. We'll go ahead and move forward with the, the mindfulness today and do our part in this moment. So the practice that, we've, uh, that we did yesterday and that we'll continue to do through this whole week is a loving kindness meditation. Now we've done this before in the past, but um, in the past, the loving kindness meditation was directed towards ourselves, right? Filling up our own cups and giving ourselves the love that we deserve. If you're still in that space where you need to fill up your own cup, by all means, please do so. Um, however, I invite you to direct this loving kindness meditation to someone or something outside of you. Maybe it's a person that is in need of a little bit of 
peace or love. Um, maybe it's a community or a cause. Maybe it's our nation or the world. Wherever you want to direct that energy, direct that meditation, I invite you to do that. Um, so yeah, if, if you've never done this before, I'll go ahead and guide you through it. Um, I'll lead you both in and out of it. And the only thing that you need to do really is find a comfortable seat. So start to come into a relaxed position. Maybe it's the chair that you were sitting in for stretches. Maybe you're lying down if that is safe and comfortable for you. But wherever you're at, just start to relax. Start to ease into that position. Maybe take a few deep breaths here. And just begin to soften. Smoothing out the breath. Letting go of any distraction and just coming into this moment. several minutes, I invite you to direct all of your energy, all of your thoughts, all of your cares, your concerns. I invite you to gather them all up and then direct them out. Direct them out with a sense of love and kindness to those that might be in need. Maybe it's a person or a group of people, someone within your community, or maybe it's someone or something globally. If we take all the energy that we normally use to worry or judge or be concerned with the past or the future, if we gather up all that energy, Channel it, channel it through a loving filter, channel it through a kind filter, and then spread it out to those in need. Think of the positive effect that we could have on our world. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Soften the gaze, bring all of your attention inward. See if you can let go of any external thoughts or distractions. And I invite you to bring your attention and your focus to your heart. still closed, see if you can see your heart, visualizing, visualizing it as it sits inside your chest cavity, softly beating. moving your energy. And then on your next breath in, I invite you to inhale directly into your heart. Watch as the breath travels directly into your chest, feeding into the place where love begins. 
cultivating, cultivating more love, more kindness, more caring. With every breath in, feed your heart. Fill it up. And then as you exhale, release the love that you just cultivated out into the world. Exhaling kindness, exhaling care, exhaling a gentle love directed towards someone, something, a little extra love today. It's okay if your mind is wandering or if you're having a hard time visualizing this. Just keep practicing. Keep putting in the work. Practice takes practice. Breathing in, feeding your heart, and breathing out, exuding love. Continuing with every breath, a new opportunity to feed your heart, cultivate love, cultivate kindness, and with every breath out, channeling that love and kindness out into the world. Breathe in, feed your heart. Breathe out, channel that love. your mind has wandered. Maybe your eyes have opened. That's okay. Acknowledge it. Notice it. Be grateful for a working mind. And then come back. Come back to the breath. Come back to the heart. to the focus of love, kindness. Continuing to cultivate it inside of you with every breath in and then sharing it with the world with every breath out. 
breathing in, feeding your heart, lighting it up, breathing out, sharing that love, exuding it out to the world. Breathe in, feed your heart. Breathe out, share the love. Breathe in, feed your heart. Breathe out, share the love. Breathe in, feed your heart. Breathe out, share the love. Feed the heart, share the love. Feed the heart, share the love. Feed the heart, share the love. you wish to focus on one person, one idea, one community. Bring that idea, bring that person into your thought process, into your heart. And then if you wish to say a phrase, to channel that focus, channel that intention. I invite you to do so now. Whether you wish peace or love or safety, feel free to repeat a phrase that reflects your intention. May my family live in peace. May my community thrive in safety. May the world be free from pain. safety. May the world be free from pain. Continue to breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in.
eyes wander. Your focus has been interrupted. That's okay. Be gentle with yourself. Correct a little love and kindness back inward. And then bring your focus back to the heart. Breathe in as you feed the heart. Breathe out as you spread the love. Breathe in as you feed the heart. Breathe out as you spread the love. Breathe in. Breathe out. Continue to cultivate this love, this kindness, and this peace within yourself. Continue to feed the heart. And as you're able, continue to share the love, share the kindness, spread the peace. final few moments of our practice here. I will release my verbal guidance, continuing to breathe, cultivating love and kindness alongside of you. You'll hear a final bell indicating that our time is finished. And until then, just continue breathing, focusing on the heart, focusing on spreading all the good that you've cultivated inside of you, out into the world, sharing the love, sharing the kindness. Breathe in as you feed the heart, Breathe out as you spread the love. Feed the heart. Spread the love.
Soft breath in. And then a soft breath out. Allow yourself to let go of any intention or focus. And just feel into this moment. Breathing into your body. Feeling into sensation. as you're ready, when you're ready, softly, blink the eyes open, come on back into the space that you're in, as always, thank you guys so much for joining, I appreciate you taking the time creating the space to continue to do the work, showing up, be present, practicing for both yourself and for others. We'll be back here again tomorrow at 10 a.m. And until then, continue to do the work. Continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you guys once again. We'll see you tomorrow.